you will understand that I am not opposing anything this board has actually passed in a motion. May I go on? Do you have a question to represent? Yes. Go ahead. On June 17, 2008, the chair of the District School Board of Niagara ruled that a motion to close Niagara District Secondary School passed by a vote of six to five. The chair can only report the results of a vote by the corporate body of the District School Board of Niagara, this Board of Trustees. The chair does not have the power to overwill, overrule the will of this Board of Trustees expressed by a vote of the board. That motion that would close Niagara District Secondary School reversed the results of the previous motion, which decision said Niagara District Secondary School must remain open until at least 2014 by the accommodation review uh, rules. Since this motion would reverse the previous motion, it was by default a motion to reconsider and required eight votes to pass. And it was defeated. The chair cannot overrule the Board of Trustees. That motion was defeated and Niagara District Secondary School must remain open. Those are the facts. And the board chair now, what is your has question? the power to change that. What is your question? It is not what I say the truth. No, it's not. The board passed that motion. The chair was ruled. I I'm sorry if you don't agree, uh, but that is the fact that the board has uh, dealt with that motion, and we're not going to keep dealing with that motion. Um, that's just the way I see it, and um, I'll leave it at that for the moment. Are there any further questions? Then we will move on. To